right now at noon, the Madison School District unveiling which questions the community will be voting on in November, how much money the district is asking for. Plus, a local church damaged by severe weather overnight. What we know at this time, along with today's first warm forecast. It's all ahead on News 3 Now at noon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Breider. New information from the Madison School District this afternoon. We now know the referendum questions that will be asked on the ballot this November. One question is about facilities. MMSD is asking for just over a half a billion dollars to replace several school buildings and renovate others. They cite the district's long-range facilities plan in selecting the buildings laid out for improvements. The other question pertains to operations and asks voters whether or not they approve an additional $100 million in funding. This would come in $30 million installments each of the next two years and $20 million each of the next two years after. The district, district says this funding would boost staffing and their wages along with equity projects and other community related initiatives. Both referendum questions passed unanimously in the board vote last night. They also approved the preliminary budget of $581.8 million. Well, across our viewing area today, cleanup from days of severe weather continues. One of those places is Marshall, where the community is coming together for a neighbor whose farm was destroyed. This is a look at the Klecker Farms in Marshall, where Janine Klecker is a fourth generation farmer. She inherited the property from her father and has lived there all her life. But the farm now resembling something unfamiliar to her. Only unscathed building on the entire property houses my father's 1020 John Deere, which he was never off of. So we always gave him crap about it. And I put it in the calf barn, and it's the only unscathed building on the entire property because you know he was up there going, not my tractor. Wow, incredible there. The tornado destroyed decades of farm equipment and fam family memorabilia within minutes. The community now moving forward together. Neighbors, many of whom Janine Klecker has never met, have come together for them, offering help with the cleanup. A Jefferson church is damaged after its steeple was struck by lightning during last night's storms. Take a look at these images of St. John the Baptist Catholic Church and school in Jefferson. Incredible images there. You can see the flames coming out of the top of the building. Multiple departments responded around 10 o'clock last night. We're still waiting on more information from Jefferson County about the extent of the damage today. We'll continue to call them and ask for updates about the situation and we'll post those on the Channel 3000 mobile app. All right, finally, some good news. We're calming things down in the weather world today. First War Meteorologist Kelly Slifka has a look at your certified most accurate forecast. And we deserve some calm, Kelly. Boy, do we need it. I tell you, I think we're all kind of sick of this uh, uh, weather that we've been having. And it's just been nonstop, pretty persistent. But we do have several days now. It looks like some dry weather in our forecast. All the uh, storms now, we lucked out. We did not see much as far as any kind of severe weather here locally in southern Wisconsin. Most of it was in eastern Wisconsin, up toward Green Bay, Fond du Lac. Saw some big storms with wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. A lot of this developed a little bit further south, a little bit further east, and now it's got a big line that's rolling through parts of Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, basically south of Chicago into parts of Iowa. There are still a few showers up to uh, the northwest. We might see one of those uh, move in as we go through this evening, but we're not really expecting uh, much as far as any kind of precipitation here uh, for the next few days. Now, the uh, severe weather threat is basically Chicago areas to the south. That's that slight risk of severe weather. But it is humid out here. The dew point temperatures in the mid... That's not a mistake. That's 81 is the dew point in Janesville. So that's almost dangerous type humidity when you're talking about uh, dew points that high. So yeah, it's feeling pretty oppressive out here. Even though uh, temperatures have um, been in the 80s, it feels like it's in the upper 90s, even getting close to 100 for some locations at the uh, noon hour. All right, we do are, are looking at upper 80s to around 90 this afternoon, that humidity making it feel a lot worse. It's going to be uh, cooler, though, tonight. So we've got a cold front passing through. That'll bring in lower temperatures, lower humidity. Our next chance for some showers and storms will be coming in on Friday. Right now it is 88 here in Madison, 87 in Middleton. So we're going to get close to 90 today. Uh, west winds right now at 7. Eventually that wind will become, become more northwesterly and usher in some lower humidity and eventually some cooler temperatures later tonight. We'll just show you that and when we can expect those next chances of rain coming up in the full forecast. Boy, for a second there, I was like checking my eyes. 
highs about that Janesville dew point. That it's, is high. That is high. You know, the, the highest dew point I've ever been in it was in Madison back in 90, 1999. That was 82. So. Wow. Yeah. All right, we're up there. All right, Kelly, thank you. Mm -hmm. Remember, you can stay up to date on the weather with our first warm weather forecast. It has our hourly forecast, road conditions, and the latest radar. You can download the app for free wherever you get your apps. Well, some more good news this afternoon. The Kruger Pool in Beloit is reopening today. The city closed down the pool just over a week ago due to mechanical issues. The pool is open today from noon to 5. Family swim is from 6 to 8. Admission is $2. You can find all the pool's operating times throughout the week at this story on channel3000.com. New at noon, the U.S. Surgeon General is declaring gun violence as a public health crisis in America. Natalie Brand reports on what is now the leading cause of death among teens and kids. With too many summer weekends ending with a staggering tally of shootings across the U.S., the nation's top doctor, Vivek Murthy, says enough is enough. Gun violence is a public health crisis in our country that requires a public health solution. The Surgeon General is making this first of its kind declaration with firearms now the leading cause of death in children and teens. While more than half of adults say they or a family member have experienced a gun-related incident. Following the massacre at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, that killed 19 children and two adults in 2022, Congress passed bipartisan gun safety legislation, the first major federal bill to address the issue in 30 years. But since then, additional measures have stalled in a divided Congress. Dr. Murthy says it's time to take the issue out of politics. The good news is there's a lot we can do. There are, for example, community violence intervention programs that we can invest in. There are safe storage education programs that we can expand. There are firearm risk reduction strategies like background checks. And gun violence is taking a toll on the nation's mental health, according to the Surgeon General, with nearly 80% of adults saying they stress about the possibility of a mass shooting and half of the country's children worried about a shooting in their school. He's also calling for doctors to promote gun safety education during regular visits. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. The National Rifle Association released a statement in response calling the Surgeon General's declaration, quote, an extension of the Biden administration's war on law-abiding gun owners, end quote. We'll still ahead for us this afternoon why President Biden's new student loan repayment plan could be in jeopardy. Plus, a judge weighs in on whether he can stop a rule that would extend mandatory overtime pay. How would you like to replace that old, outdated bathtub with a luxurious, easy-access walk-in shower? It's easy when you call Mad City Baths. Mad City is Wisconsin's trusted bathroom remodeler with installations in as little as one day. We're also your local provider for replacement windows and kitchen cabinet refacing. Call now during Big Deal Days and save $1,000 on a new bath or shower. Now that's a big deal. Zero down and zero interest till 2026. Senior military discounts plus a bonus. Receive $750 in safety upgrades with your bath or shower purchase. And call during this program for the free $50 Walmart gift card with your in-home estimate from Mad City. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, Call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. Are you suffering with neck pain, back pain, or sciatica due to disc-related conditions? You may have tried drugs, spinal injections, or physical therapy just to find out it didn't help. You're not alone. The problem is that some of those treatments focus on symptom relief, but may not address the underlying disc problem. As a result of injury or overuse, the discs may bulge, herniate, or degenerate over time. Our therapies are highly successful and reduce pain associated with those conditions and may help you avoid neck or back surgery. At Midwest Spine and Nerve Center, we'll design a treatment program using the latest in pain relieving therapies, including non-surgical spine decompression, Pro Adjuster 360 computerized technology, laser therapy, and more. Visit our website or call to schedule a complimentary consultation. The Spring Green Art Fair is coming June 29th and 30th to downtown Spring Green. Hundreds of artists from around the nation will be there both days. 
Don't miss the fun and excitement June 29th and 30th in Spring Green. Get an 11% rebate on outdoor power equipment at Menards. Tame unruly landscapes with ease using the Master Force 80 volt string trimmer with Flex Connect. Seamlessly transition between attachments, including a hedge trimmer, pole saw, brush cutter, and edger. Own the outdoors with Master Force outdoor power equipment and start your landscaping project today. The 80 volt string trimmer kit is $229.99, and each Flex Connect attachment is $54.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. President Biden's new student loan repayment plan could be in jeopardy. On Monday, two federal judges in Kansas and Missouri temporarily blocked parts of the plan after hearing challenges from Republican-led states. About 8 million borrowers are enrolled in the plan, and those with undergraduate debt would have seen their payments cut in half starting a week from today. The Biden administration says it strongly disagrees with the court decisions. A Texas judge is weighing whether he can stop a Biden administration rule that would extend mandatory overtime pay to 4 million U.S. workers starting next week. Republican Attorney General Ken Paxton's office wants to stop the rule that will require employers to pay overtime premiums to salaried workers if they earn about $58,000 a year. The current threshold is about $35,000 a year. And the Consumer Confidence Index for June comes out later this morning. Economists expect it held steady from May. Wall Street uses the CCI, along with retail sales, to gauge how consumers are dealing with higher prices on goods and higher interest rates. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Chanel Call. Here's your stock report at the noon hour. The Dow is down 356 points, NASDAQ up 137, and the S&P 500 up 0 0.09. Our call for action volunteers are in the building taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. You can call for action at 608-270-2833 or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. Pam is watching today's egg prices straight ahead, and Kelly is tracking your first warm forecast. Then later today on Live at 4, Consumer Reports breaks down safety precautions to follow while cooling off in the pool this summer. For a safe, accessible bathroom that's anything but boring, call Mad City Baths. Combine a barrier-free shower base or walk-in tub with premium wall designs and fixture combinations. Expertly installed in as little as one day. And with Mad City's price lock guarantee, we'll lock your price in for one year. Here's another reason to call now during Big Deal Day. Save $1,000 on a new bath or shower. Now that's a big deal. Zero down and zero interest till 2026. Senior military discounts plus a bonus. Receive $750 in safety upgrades with your bath or shower purchase. And call during this program for a free $50 Walmart gift card with your free in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. Blackberry Smoke. Live in concert. Be right here to it. Saturday, July 6th at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster. Don't miss Blackberry Smoke Live. Those of us in the middle class are getting crushed right now. The biggest corporations jack up prices on everything, and then they don't even pay their share of taxes. It's total bull to be honest. But President Biden's plan closes the corporate tax loopholes and uses that money to protect Social Security and invest in clean energy to drive down our costs. It also caps prices on prescription drugs. The president's plan stops the corporate giveaways and lowers costs for us. Howie Mandel is here. My hobby is I take pictures. I love pictures. I took this one from the back hall. Oh, you take <laughs> Yeah. Then get in the game with the Jennifer Hudson Show. Woo! 
on the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. When temperatures rise, water parks make a big splash. But what about days like this? I'm going beyond the barometer in Wisconsin Dells, showing how the weather impacts the daily operations of the water park capital of the world. Thursday at 6. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Welcome back at noon. Let's check in now with Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report. Pam, I am ready to dry things out around here. This is ridiculous. Oh. It is, absolutely, and, and uh, to uh, Kelly's point about the stickiness outside, so out at the Klecker farm this morning, the Marshall FFA was uh, helping to clean up my uh, summer intern, Aubrey Slimgin, was out there and sent me some pictures. They did a great job of picking up a lot of the extra trash. What you don't stop and think about when you talk about a barn that's uh, been basically destroyed, or any building for that matter, a lot of that debris ends up in the farm field. Well, guess what? After the corn gets so high or the soybeans get so high, that debris, if it's not picked up, turns into a problem during the harvest when the machines come through uh, you can blow a combine pretty bad if uh, you don't have that debris out of the way so Marshall FFA was helping the collectors to catch up on some of the cleanup out in that neck of the woods. Today is also a day when Wisconsin's got a bunch of USDA officials. Uh, earlier this morning down in Broadhead at uh, Decatur Dairy we had the pleasure of Undersecretary uh, Jenny Lester Moffitt being in town to announce $12 million of available money through the Dairy Business Innovation Initiatives. Sand County Foundation's got their national meeting down at the Edgewater. Uh, I'm catching up this afternoon with uh, Natural Resource Conservation Chief Terry Cosby. He's been in Wisconsin. He was out in Platteville earlier today. In fact, he might still be out there. So they're getting a real taste of Wisconsin's wonderful weather in the out of doors as well. But we're glad that they're here and glad that they're bringing us some news as far as that goes and a lot of those folks that were at the sand county foundation national conference downtown came from places like iowa that are also battling terrible terrible flooding uh and one uh, grower producer that was from montana probably not necessarily uh, used to the humidity that we're dealing with yeah i just want to remind our dairy farmers in the audience the clock is ticking. Dan Bauer with the Wisconsin Farm Center says that they are still looking for Wisconsin dairy operators to return their 2024 dairy survey. This turns into not only programs, but also policy. So please make sure you're filling it out. It's all confidential information. Your name will not be disclosed. If you haven't found your survey or you uh, lost it, please reach out to the Wisconsin Farm Center and try to get a replacement as soon as possible. They'd like that wrapped up by the end of the month. Barrel cheese today down just a half at 191. 40 pound block cheese drops a penny and three quarters to 187 and a quarter, while the double A butter down three and a quarter today, still at 303 and a quarter per pound. Its price seems to be melting, much like the old farm baby is when she's got to put dress clothes on and go meet some folks, uh, no matter the setting. Yeah, this is just wicked hot, as my buddies on the East Coast would say, Josh. I'm hoping that we get a respite here pretty soon because that humidity is hard on animals. Too. Yeah, this air is uh, thicker than butter some would say. <laughs> true, very true. <laughs> Hopefully we get some relief soon. Pam, good to see you. Stay cool. All right, buddy. See you later. Well, let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast for storm meteorologist Kelly Slifka might be breaking a sweat out on the weather patio yeah, this it's, afternoon. Everything's breaking a sweat out here. In fact, you know, you touch uh, any kind of metal object or like this clicker here, it's just, uh, just moist. It's just really kind of a nasty noon hour with all this humidity. Eventually it will be coming down. I want to show you a photo, though. This was up in, uh, uh, in uh, parts of Columbia County in Leeds Township. Dylan captured this. This is a mammatus cloud, and we've had a lot of these lately because we've seen so many storms, and typically when you see them, you know there's a big storm somewhere, so a lot of that air is rising really quickly where the storm is, and then on the anvil, on the underside of the anvil, that air actually sinks fairly quickly, and that's why uh, it looks like cotton balls coming downward or protruding from the uh, base of that cloud there. All right, the uh, thunderstorm complex that really missed us for the most part. We had some showers and storms mainly to the east and south of Madison. That is uh, all now down to the south and east, and it's moving right through the uh, Ohio Valley, moving into Indiana and Illinois as well. That's where it's going to stay right now. The cold front has not arrived yet. Obviously, it's so humid. But out ahead of the front, that's why it's so humid. Eventually, that will drag in some drier air, but it's probably not going to really notice it until we get into the evening. So these dew point temperatures will remain way up there. All right, the uh, severe weather risk basically down to the south, thankfully. So we should see fairly quiet weather. Can't rule out a, a brief post-frontal shower moving through as we go into the um, uh, evening hours. But we need a break from the rain. And this is what we're looking at. This goes back through last Saturday. Many locations 
three, four, five inches of rain. And that's on top of what we all already saw throughout the month of June and much of May. So we definitely need a break. Highs in the upper 80s getting close to 90 today. Lower temperatures do arrive tonight. Now you're going to notice that uh, drop in humidity gradually this evening, but more likely by tomorrow with uh, dew point temperatures much more comfortable. We do have a chance of some showers and storms right now, maybe more than just a morning thing. Unfortunately, it looks like going into a Friday. All right, here are the dew points. They're in the 70s. Uh, we saw that one in Janesville that was in the low 80s. But look what's up to the north and northwest. It's down in the 40s in the Twin Cities. That is some of that drier air that will be arriving uh, later on tonight through tomorrow. So as we take a look at our future track, the uh, dew point temperatures uh, by the, uh, the evening hours as we get toward the uh, dinner hour do drop through the uh, 60s. And by tomorrow morning, they'll probably be dropping down into the uh, 50s. So we'll be feeling a lot more comfortable, especially by this time tomorrow, even though it's still going to be pretty warm. Temperatures in the uh, upper 80s to around 90 this afternoon, so it's going to be one of those sultry days and the heat index up maybe up close to 100 at times. As we go through this afternoon, it looks like most of the storms are going to be developing down to our south. We can't rule out a passing shower, but that should be about it. They should be widely scattered and temperatures do tail off overnight tonight down into the 60s by tomorrow morning. All right, as far as rainfall goes, we're looking at what are the normal conditions, unfortunately. What else is new, though? And this is going out into the 4th of July. Normal temperatures here in Madison, but if you are traveling to the north for the 4th of July, expecting cooler than average temperatures uh, for this time of June. Right now it's 88 in Madison, 84 uh, down in Janesville, 86 in Monroe and across Dane County. We've got temperatures in the generally in the mid to upper 80s, so it is going to be a sultry afternoon. Before we get some relief later on tonight, down to 64 by tomorrow morning, 77 with sunshine tomorrow. Looks like a nice uh, couple of days for us, mid 70s, a little cooler than average on Thursday. Our next chance of shower and thunderstorm activity will come in Friday. Uh, dry weather for the weekend. Oh, 77. That looks nice. I like that. Yeah, not bad for a couple days in there. There you go. Thank you, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Howard's in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with a side dish he says is perfect for this time of year. Ah, zucchini. It may seem just like any other vegetable, but there's so much more to it. First of all, zucchini is probably the easiest vegetable for us to grow in our gardens. Now, for those of us who grow them, we know that before long, we'll be inundated with them and we'll find ourselves sharing them with our neighbors and bringing them to the office. And with them being so abundant, it's a darn good thing that they're so good for us. You know, one cup of zucchini has only 25 calories and is packed with more potassium than this banana. So let me share a way to turn these into a mouth-watering side dish. We start by sauteing some cut up tomatoes in a bit of olive oil, along with a touch of minced garlic, fresh chopped parsley, and lots of spices. Once it cooks down, we stir in some zucchini that we've chunked up. And when it's tender, it's ready to serve as a healthy as can be side dish. No matter how you serve it, we know you'll be scraping the bowl so you don't miss a drop. To get the recipe for our all-star zucchini, all you have to do is go online before all that zucchini takes over your house. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a fresh from the garden way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. When we come back at noon, UW Health Clinical Dietitian Michelle Swader is helping us stay hydrated this summer. We'll be right back. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Time is running out to call Mad City Baths during big deal days. Our American-made baths and showers are infused with microband for easy cleaning. And in addition to baths, Mad City is also your trusted source for eco sky windows and kitchen cabinet refacing. Last chance to call during this program to take advantage of the savings during big deal days. Save $1,000 on a new bath or shower. Now that's a big deal. Zero down and zero interest till 2026. Senior and military discounts plus a bonus. Receive $750 in safety upgrades with your bath or shower purchase. And remember, this is the last chance during this program for a free $50 Walmart gift gift card with your in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. 
I've heard AI is so easy to use, I had to give it a try for Stanton Optical's newest deal. Create a commercial selling one pair of glasses for $59. Hey, I said a pair of glasses, not a pair wearing glasses. Hmm, better, but it needs to pop more. Pop more, not popcorn. Oh, uh, forget it. <laughs> Maybe using AI to make an ad wasn't my best idea, but you can get the best deal on glasses right now. Book your eye exam today. Stanton Optical, easy sour thing. Hi, I'm Daryl from Little America. Blake and his cousin Connor are here with their family from Madison today. What's your favorite ride? Here we go. Connor's older sister, Cassie, told me her favorite is the go karts Mom loves that she can bring a picnic basket, and Dad enjoys miniature golf. There's fun for the whole family at Little America, where big fun is only a few smiles away. Senator Baldwin says, I'm not from Wisconsin. But this was my childhood home. Graduated East High. Became a Badger in 86, where I've had my company for over 20 years. And this is where we live. It's our family home. I'm a fourth generation Wisconsinite. It made me who I am. If Senator Baldwin's not gonna be honest with you about where I'm from, what makes you think she'll be honest with you about anything? I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message. UW Health Clinical Dietitian Michelle Swader is back with us. Michelle, good to see you. Good to see you. All right, so you're helping us stay hydrated during the summer, which yes. a lot of people struggle with. Yes, in the winter it's mainly because it's dry, but in the summer it's very humid. We're very aware that we're sweating, but sometimes we can lose more electrolytes. So part of it is the fluid that we're drinking, but if you've really extended yourself, you might need to replace some of those electrolytes. So what's hard is there are so many more options than there used to be. How do you figure out what's right for you? Yes, it, it varies person to person, even day to day. So on day that you're just going to work and you're driving home in a hot car versus the day that you're mowing the lawn and spending the afternoon in the garden, that person individually might need some different electrolytes and some different um, nutrition. So. The good and the bad is that there are a lot of choices to choose from. The key is just make sure you're reading your labels. They're all gonna contain a different amount of electrolytes, and by that I mean potassium, magnesium, sodium, um, but some will add some extra things like B12. Um, you just may or may not need that. That might not be important to you. Some of them might also have sugar. Some of them might also have caffeine, and some of them might have added sugars, added artificial sugars if they don't have natural sugar. So you really have to make sure that if you're buying a kind of a processed product that you know what's in it. Read the labels Definitely. as we've talked a lot about in the past. All right, some of the best is, and it's tasty this time of the year, fruit. Yes, yes. So definitely the produce is very hydrating. Fruits and vegetables are 90% water. So if you have a cup of cucumbers, you're basically having a cup of water. And it's a great way to get some natural electrolytes. It won't be as much as in the products, but they're more bioavailable to us. Our body's used to digesting them. The sugar, the natural sugar in the fruit's great to give you what, just a little bit of energy boost if you're feeling run down. Any kind of non-starchy vegetable is gonna be great with nutrition and not as many calories as the fruit. Good little snack and you're also staying hydrated yeah. with it. Yeah. So if people have any questions, Michelle, how can they uh, reach out for more information? Um, I would basically just check the um, USDA websites about hydration. Um, you can always just Google your favorite fruit and vegetable to find out kind of what nutrients it has. Um, and if you are looking to kind of learn more about label reading, I would reach out and definitely try to meet with a dietitian yeah. and they can tell you a lot of information about what to look for. Staying healthy during the summertime, important stuff. Yep. Michelle, thank you so much. Thank you. Let's get to Kelly now, the final check of that summertime forecast, Kelly. Yeah, we uh, have lost the uh, storms, thankfully, but we have not lost the humidity yet. Uh, 90 expected today, and the uh, dew points have been in the mid to upper 70s, so it's feeling really oppressive out there. We lose it to tonight and tomorrow. Temperatures in the mid-70s. Our next chance of showers and storms will be Friday. Thank you, Kelly. Have a great afternoon.